Have you ever wondered what your face would look like when combined with a friend, sibling, or even your worst enemy? Two faces can meld into one by arranging strips of mirrors on an anti-reflective coated glass. In this video, I'll show you how to create an illusion of museum level quality, sometimes called the father's nose illusion. I'll take you through all the materials you'll need, the step-by-step -step process of arranging them, and leave you all the information down below in a complete step-by-step -step guide that you can download. Hi, I'm Hannah with Two-Way Mirrors. Every week, we bring you new lessons on mirrors based on our expertise in the glass and mirror industry. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned, and don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Optical illusions distort our perception. What we're seeing doesn't agree with physical reality. It astonishes us and tickles our brain when we realize that what we thought we saw is at a completely different level than from what is real. The Father's Nose Illusion is featured by several prominent museums and can be built at home using common parts such as clear glass and mirrors cut into identical strips. I'm going to take you into our factory and show you exactly how it's done. The DIY Step-by-Step -step Guide Step 1. Cut the anti-reflective glass or clear glass to size. You can cut the glass on a glass fletcher or you can even cut it with a handheld score wheel. Step 2. Take a sheet of the 1.9 mm glass first surface. This will be the backboard when you cut the 0.5 first surface mirror glass. Place this on the fletcher. Step 3. Place your glass stopper on the measurement you desire for the glass first surface mirror. I cut it to 1 inch by 10.5 inches. Step 4. Once you have your measurement set, grab a sheet of the 0.5 mm first surface mirror. Our 0.5 mm first surface mirror sheet is 26 inches by 17 inches long. Make sure you cut on the standard mirror side. Normally we cut on the laminate, but for thin pieces of glass, cutting on the back side reduces mistakes. Step 5. Score the glass from top to bottom on the fletcher, applying a small amount of pressure. Step 6. Score the strips of 1 inch by 17 inch from the sheet. Then you will cut the strips to 10.5 inches. The overall size of each strip will be 1 inch by 10.5 inches. Step 7. Once you have all the glass pieces cut, Sand the anti-reflective glass. This will make the edges safe to handle. You do not need to sand the 0.5 because it will alter the look of the edges, thus mutating the overall look of the illusion. Step 8. Measure the edges of the anti-reflective glass and mark with a sharpie every inch on the back side of the glass with a measuring tape. This will give you an even distribution of the illusion and you'll be able to remove the sharpie marks at the end. Step 9. Line up the pieces of 0.5 first surface along the anti-reflective glass in between the 1 inch sharpie lines you previously made. Remember that the sharpie lines are on the back of the glass so you can clean them off later. Step 10. Take the clear super glue and put a few drops along the edges. This will minimize the appearance of the glue on the glass. Do this to all of the strips. Step 11. Once the glue dries, remove the lamina off the first surface mirror. Step 12. Place a Nikon window mount onto a light stand, and there you have it, a father's nose illusion. Let's see it in action. Sit or stand at the same eye level as the other person with the mirror at an equal distance between you. Once you're synced, you'll see a composite face made up of some of your features and some of the other person's. To get the best composite face, you may need to adjust your position from the mirror while your partner remains still. Experiment and see what happens. Descend slightly with your partner until your eyes are looking through the space directly below the mirror strip you were looking in before. Ask yourself, how does this new composite face compare with the previous one? Now, try it again with another person and enjoy the surprise on their face while melded in with your own. If you're looking to cut mirrors, you can cut the glass using a standard score and break method, which I'll outline below. 
I'll also include a link to where you can purchase them pre-cut from us if you're looking to save some time. If you need any help obtaining first surface mirrors, double-sided mirrors, or any other type of specialty mirror, we're excited to help you on twowaymirrors.com. Until next time, I'm Hannah and I'll see you in my next video.